Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having a play around with these spider gels I bought from Oh Snap Beauty Supplies. I'll leave links to their shop and Instagram page for you to check them out if you like. So before I start playing with these spider gels I need painted nails. I'm using Madame Glam's gel polish colours Bubblegum and Delicacy to do two coats of colour and one coat of top coat. I also did one nail as an ombre of the two colours. If you want to learn how to ombre then check out my video titled Gel Ombre and Leopard Print. So these are my new toys I get to play with. They're called spider gels because you can stretch the gel a fair distance without it breaking. The more you stretch it out, the finer the gel strand becomes. It actually blew my mind how stretchy and incredibly sticky this gel is. So to pick it up from its tub, I used a dotting tool to stretch a small amount into the air. Then I bring the tip near the strand before I start wrapping the gel around the nail. As you can see, the more I wrapped and stretched the gel, the finer it became almost like a fine thread. I think the hardest part with using these gels was deciding where to place the strands and what to do to unattach from the stretch. I found swiping the dotting tool at the beginning and at the end point of the thread helped to cut it off and unattach it from the nail. And just like regular gels, you need to cure these spider gels in a UV or LED lamp for them to set in place. Here I'm just using nail foil to press into the spider gel once it's set to see if it works the same as regular gel. To create multiple threads, with each passing of the dotting tool around the nail, you pick up more of the thread and it creates more. When it's really fine and in multiples like this, it looks so much like spider silk. So the plan with this nail was to have a matte background but glossy black threads, hence why I buffed the nail earlier. With each strand I lay on the nail, I flash cured it for 10 seconds to set it in place before I placed another strand over it. This prevents each strand from melting into each other. Once fully cured, I applied no wipe top coat with a fine nail art brush just over the black lines to keep them glossy but the background matte. And here I wanted to swatch all the colours that came in this pack for you guys to see. I used a plain white and a plain black background so you can see the contrast between the colours. The purple one looks more blue on screen than in real life. And here's a close-up of the nails I experimented with earlier. What are your thoughts on this spider gel? Leave me a comment of what you thought down below. I must say I had a lot of fun playing with it, but cleanup was a little bit messy. I hope you liked this video. Leave it a like if you did, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And that's all I have for you today. I'll catch you all here on my next video. Bye!